does she think she's doing? Yeah, this is our quarry. Never say no to an extra bow in a fight. Whatever. Just don't let her steal all the good kills. than us, huh? Nobody. That's who. Huh, perfect. I'm a friend. Bergren sent me, told me you might need some help. <laughs> that Osiram blowhard in Song's Edge? Did he pretend to be concerned for us? We're doing fine. We don't need to be looked after like children. That's not the way Bergren tells it. He says he tried to settle up with him using a shattered Thunderjaw heart. What? That's an exaggeration. It was only broken in two. Urkai, we don't have time for this. Come on, boys, back to the hunt. We still need two more of Bergren's components. What's the rush? We want out of these lands as soon as possible. That's all you need to know. I've got the Scorcher Claw Bergren was asking for. That only leaves the Stalker Sinew and the Snap Maw Fang. You should hold on to it. You're coming along to the next hunt after all, aren't you? I suppose somebody's gotta keep you three out of trouble. Fine. I guess you'll have to tag along then. But don't start thinking you're one of us. The bloody snowdrifts aren't accepting new hunters. <laughs> bloody snowdrifts? That's what you want to call our Warwick? Yeah, it's not great to die. 
It's not like your names are any better. You. We're headed northwest, to the ruins near Hollow Hall. We'll be waiting. without us let's get down there flaming skulls last time orkai that is not our name maybe we should table this argument until after the hunt
nothing gets my blood running like the hunt. How about it, Aloy? Did you find the next part? Americanus, the magnificent American black bear. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. You must have been. That fur? You never even felt the cold, did you? If he hadn't preserved you, would anyone even know you disappeared? Visitor centers of bust. I'm recording the strategic and operational value at roughly 0 point squat. No reason we shouldn't pack the staff onto a bird and send them back to Income ding dongs. I hate to interrupt. Oh, I yes. <laughs> Hello, I Oh, an outlander at the Shrine of Forgotten Beasts. Welcome. I'm Enjuk. Uh, Aloy. The Shrine of what? When the old world still breathed, a great man built a tiny totem to this beast and stored the visage inside. When the totem is placed on the pedestal, the animal is painted onto the empty air, and the beast lives again. Well, almost. There are seven pedestals. Where are the other six figurines? I found this one in the wilds. Remembered the indentations in the pedestals here, and saw how they matched the base of the totem. But as you say, it's one of seven, isn't it? Oh, the great Montana recreations must have made more, but... Time has scattered them. What do you think of these, Enjuk?
cut may have forgotten you, little ones, but I will not. And now that you've returned to your pedestals, I can show others. I should get going. Of course, of course. I've taken up so much of your time already. But I don't suppose you could keep an eye out for more figurines? If I run across any, I'll bring them your way. Ursus Arctos, the menacing grizzly bear. Brought to you by Montana Recreations. Those claws look like they could rip someone in half. Perhaps in its youth, but you heard Montana Recreations. You said it's grizzled, old. Its hunting days are behind it. Ursus Arctos, the menace. Grizzly Bear, brought to you by Montana Recreations. Program stuff valuable. Nothing gets my blood running like the hunt. How about it, Aloy? Did you find the next part? That's another part down. One more and you'll have what you need to pay off Burgund. Starting to feel real, you know. We're starting to believe we're really gonna get out of here. Honestly, I wasn't sure we'd survive a week without Nakoni. But here we are. Who's Nakoni? Nakoni... Nakoni was... She was a friend of ours. She challenged the chieftain for control of our... of the Werak. She didn't make it. No. If you're gonna tell this story, tell it true. She was murdered. Nakoni challenged the chieftain. Why? Only Cook wrapped himself in power and authority the way some people wrap themselves in furs. If you're willing to fawn over him and sing false songs to him, you might get a spot on the best hunts. The Werak split into two. Those willing to lick the bottoms of Onikut's feet and the rest of us. Waiting for things to get better. Until Nikoni. She was the best and bravest of us. She was the one who took a stand. I'm sorry for what you've been through. It's nice to be heard. Thank you, Anlai. Look, it doesn't matter, okay? What happened in Bonoir is buried in Bonoir. What matters now is what happens in the Sundom. That's where the burning turkeys are gonna make a name for ourselves, right? Oh, the burning turkeys? Seriously? It rolls off the tongue. Sort of like vomit? So, where to next? There's a lake just west of here. Seems like a good place to find a snap, Malfang. We'll meet you there. If you beat us there, just wait by the campfire. We'll be along. No sign of them yet. Guess I'll just sit and wait. Looks like she beat us to it. Well, what are we waiting for? Weapons at the ready! 
to the hunt, Sunshine Snowshoes. No, 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 rejected. We'll discuss it later.
like she beat us to it. Well, what are we waiting for? Weapons at the ready. To the hunt, sunshine snowshoes. No, 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 no. Rejected. We'll discuss it later. <laughs>
Bergen's parts. Looks like you three are out of debt. For now. Until Orkai breaks something else. It was one time! You make a nice shaman, Aloy. Thanks for lending a hand. Maybe we'll meet you in the Sundom sometime. Once you get to the Sundom, what then? What's the next step? We hunt like Nakoni wanted to hunt. She was more than just our friend. She was a visionary. When we lost her, we thought that vision went with her. Nakoni had big dreams. A Werak in which everyone pulls their weight and takes care of each other. No shamans, no chieftains, no need to pry the power out of anybody's hands. Sounds like a lot of work. Mm, but worth it, I think. And a fitting tribute to Nagoni. We can become the Werak she always wished for. I guess this is goodbye. How does it feel, putting the new glands behind you? The only thing I would have missed is already gone. Let all those rotten Bonor suck-ups freeze to death. It's a little much, Urkai, don't you think? Nakoni, friend, guide. When Onokut took her from us, it felt like he stripped us of our identity. That's strange. What is it to be Banuk after Banur forsakes you? How do we decide who we are? How about you, Aloy? Who do you think we are? What will you remember of us? Look around. You've taken down more machines since you left Banur than some hunters take down in a year. Shattered hearts and all, right, Orkai? It wasn't shattered. But you took down a Thunderjaw to get that heart, didn't you? We did. <laughs> so, silly suggestion. But what if we were the Shattered Hearts? You know, I actually like it. Yeah, it's pretty good. 
Thank you, Aloy, for seeing us for who we are. I'm very thankful we met you, Aloy. When the old ones were fresh in their graves and our numbers were so small. The truth is that the great Werrits of Banur abandoned the country. Burgrind, how'd your investment pay out? Quite handsomely, thanks very much. Hey, do you know those three crazy Banuka calling themselves the Shattered Hearts now? <laughs> well, now that I have those parts, I can pay off a debt of my own. So they've gone south, then? Aye, that they have. I've got a friend in the Sundom by the name of Otur. He owes me a favor. Old Otur is a machine scavenger. A pretty competent one. So I sent them to learn from the best. Or at least from the pretty competent. Well, we work with the resources we have. Speaking of which, here, a token of my gratitude. Much further than the great board.
we've lost don't yield to bandit. Although the light had left her with a thousand wounds, Banakai charged. And because she held... In a tut. As we are bound by laws, you are bound by wire. Yet your crime was the act of killing. So we must drive you out. Away from the Werek. From protection. From our songs. My chieftain! Coppola! Am I not your favorite fighter? Do you not recognize me from this tooth you knocked out? How many times have I pulled you from danger by your neck? Made excuses for your behavior? You are my favorite! But the shaman is decided. While you wait for exile, think on what brought you here. A test of strength! Who among us would refuse a challenge from an outlander? Not I! But I did not kill him! Hush, hush. You can tell your story to the ice. Uh. You took Aratok's mantle. It's mine now. I would like to see that fight. They said that you killed someone. Perhaps I did. Even my chieftain accepts that it must be so. That's not the way it works for me. Want to tell me your story? I did fight with the Karja hunter to settle a challenge. That much is true. He was strong and damn quick. We traded punches. Good punches. Hard punches. And the next thing I remember... Gray morning light. And the Karja beside me, with his head broken open. But the blow was not by my hand. And for your punishment, they'll exile you from the Warrick? From warmth. March me up the slopes of the Cloud Shear, leave me stripped and exposed. That's awful. If I survive, the land has absolved me. That's the law. It must be accepted. It's still awful. I'm not stupid. I don't like my chances either. I can't fight a mountain. I'll be honest. You haven't got a good defense in a tut. I've heard that one before. Where did the fight happen? A clearing, just outside the Karja Outlanders camp. You should talk to them. They wouldn't hear me out. They say no one else could have been there other than me and the dead man. The shaman consulted the signs in the snow and agreed. I'll see what I can find out. Then I'll be back. I'll be here. What else am I gonna do? Until the horn gives a call for my exile. We'll have to warn. 